All right, now we're recording. All right, what's going on, everybody? Another 25 items to get up into my store today. Uh, we're at Tuesday, so Tuesday evening, and I just fell below 31,200. So we're gonna get me back over that 200 mark. And uh, finally, some uh, different stuff. The thing I'm enjoying about this is I don't feel any pressure so I'm just I'm grabbing all different kinds of stuff I started out with a lot of media first just to get a jump ahead because you can I can list it quick and whenever it gets a slow period or I get like have huge sales and I need to get bunch up quick then I'll probably you'll probably see you know a video full of just media or something like you kind of have the first two but now we're gonna start getting into other things so now it's gonna get more fun all right maybe fun for me anyway all right uh we'll start here with some hats so i got this browning i guess it's like it would be a duck camouflage right because it looks like a blind for duck hunting got the ear flaps uh that's got it going up for twenty dollars we get into some hats uh generic roof mate 13.99 boston red Sox 13.99 these will all be 13.99 unless i say otherwise ws BC, not sure what that means, but if you watch my videos, you know somebody will, and chances are they'll pay full price for it. So, next up, Veterans United Home Loans. I love hot ball stuff like that. And then these initial hats, every once in a while I'll have one that sells. Uh, so we got that one, and we've got the spiffy visor that you would see, you know, a grandma wearing at the zoo or on vacation in Florida. <laughs> All right, next up, we're gonna get into some shoes. These, I just <laughs> love the distressed look of them. So I'm like, you gotta get these. I gotta get them. Jan picked them up. I'm like, yeah, get those. Look how they have, you know, people are paying for that look now, you know? So I loved it. And I've always loved the distressed look anyway. Obviously, you know how I feel about the hats. So I got these up for $24. Uh, next up, we've got some uh, Sperry's loafer style, I guess. Um, these are up for $20. Next, we've got some of uh, these Sperry's boat shoes up for $20. Next up, some women's New Balance all terrain. Uh, these are up for $24. And then some Joseph Siebel slip on flats in the tan colorway. Um, these are up for $20. All right, next up. So I went to um, a antique mall. Uh, if you're from the area, the one on St. Charles Rock Road, uh, St. Louis Antique Mall. Uh, newly opened a few, four months maybe or so, five months maybe. Um, He's always very active on uh, Facebook and stuff with his goofy videos and whatnot. So I think if you're going to sell it in an antique mall, that would be the one to go to because he's. I think he's doing real well in the social media world with trying to build up the reputation. So I like that. So I went in there. I've been wanting to go in there, and I'm like, my goal whenever I go anywhere, and you know antique malls, it's hard to make money. I'm like, but me, I'm like, I'm going to make money here. I don't care what you say. So I ended up finding a Van Halen CD. You might just see a normal Van Halen one CD there, but when I opened it up, we got the Target CD. Boom, first pressing, made in Japan. Baby bam. Uh, so I paid, uh, I think $3 for this and got it up for $30. So that made me happy. Also found there this PM cassette. PM stands for Peter Mayer. He's a local guy. He also plays or played, I'm not sure if he still does, a guitarist for Jimmy Buffett. But this was his, uh, his own band. And I paid, uh, I think, a dollar for it. And I got it up for $20. So... If you find Peter Mayer stuff, check him out. Uh, look him up on eBay. Uh, next up was the third piece I got there. 
I actually got a fourth piece too, but I kept it for myself. Uh, we had a local record store around here called Streetside Records. Uh, so there was a shirt there for Streetside Records. I bought that, I paid 20 for it, so that was personal. And then I found this promo t-shirt from a Japanese hair metal band from the 80s, Easy O Fire Fire. Uh, I paid $25 for that, and uh, I, I can't leave this behind. And I got it up for $60. So that was fun. Uh, next up, we got more clothes. Uh, the Party Animal Bar and Lounge t-shirt, uh, $13.99. Got this Jones New York women's blouse here, like felty feel. Got it up for $20. I got this Neiman Marcus. It's a Don Sayers for Wellmore something like that women's dress with all the jewels on it I got that up for sixty dollars next up we <laughs> I couldn't pass this up at the Benz this was cool so we got this cool skirt going on and it's got circus scenes on it so you can see that <laughs> that was great I uh, got this up for forty dollars then we've got this Aaron London women's jacket. Oh, this might be the one Jan wanted to keep. I gotta check that before I list this, so do not list that one yet. I got this one up for 20. And then just a pure Jill V-neck women's t-shirt up for $13.99. Next up, I was walking downstairs and I saw this kind of hiding somewhere. I'm like, I know this could probably ain't listed, just a classical cassette. And got it up for $20. Picked this up at the Benz the other day. Uh, Tony Bennett four cassette box set. Uh, got it up for 10 bucks. Nothing major there. And then we've got a clearance DVD, Murder by Decree, five bucks. And then last, we've got Colin Hay. Are you looking at me, CD? Got up for $10. So, boom. Getting more interesting stuff. Yes, yes, see, my plan is working. Hey, I got bangs to cover that stuff up. What's going on here? I can get a tattoo there. This I'm gonna get this space for rent. So if you're looking to sponsor a human with your business, I can put. All right, thanks everybody for watching, and I'll, I'll see you in the next video.